Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that. And since today is Thursday, I will review a designer perfume for you. And we are gonna talk about Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel Eau de Parfum Intense. This is the flanker of the original Coco Mademoiselle that was launched in 2018. And actually I was inspired to film this review because this flanker won a public award on Fragrantica's website in the category Best Female Perfume of 2018. And uh, as you can see, I have it in my collection, so that shows that I agree with that award. It is a winner for me too. And uh, first of all, before I actually will review this perfume for you, I want to tell you a story between me and Coco Mademoiselle. So, when I was a little girl, my mom had most gorgeous perfume collection. She has just great taste overall. Actually, she's one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen in my life and I always tell her she should be a Hollywood star because she has this natural beauty and style. All her outfits are so well thought through and her jewelry, her makeup, her nails, her outfits and her scent is always on point. And as I was little, she used to have Coco Mademoiselle. So every time I smell it, I'm transported to my childhood. And I can't really tell you that my childhood was amazing and the best, but still I loved when my mom wore this perfume. So right now I have an amazing perfume collection of niche fragrances and we are totally satisfied with it with my mom she plays with everything and we barely touch our designers but recently we had a conversation and she told me that she's kind of in the mood to go back to Coco Mademoiselle and I was excited because I knew that Chanel launched a new flanker intense version and I knew that this is gonna be a great Christmas gift for my mom and she was really happy to discover it underneath the Christmas tree and as she sprayed it on herself this fragrance really filled in the room with its aroma. And uh, now let's talk about the scent. And I cannot really review Intense version without any references to the original one because they are not that different. The only obvious difference for me personally is that this Intense version is warmer. So the original one is more on the fresh, youthful, floral side and intense version has this high dose of patchouli and patchouli in here does incredible job because it does not smell earthy so it is not really something that some people might dislike it just makes sure that the perfume smells expensive and that's all and it does its job really well also there is amber for that warmth and um, the note of lactanum creates kind of like a deep, really satisfying aroma. And this scent is really round, luscious, warm, and it kind of like hugs you into this glamorous atmosphere. And I really find that this is a great perfume to wear during the colder time of the year, you know? So you want something warm, something really satisfying, inviting, but still with that extremely elegant DNA of the original Coco Mademoiselle, because it still has that floral, fresh character, but it is more on the warm side. So to sum up, I would say that this is a classy perfume to represent feminine elegance and it is a very safe fragrance to buy for those ladies who try to be grown up and just represent their style and how feminine they are. And I love that Chanel did not ruin the original scent. You can still associate it and just picture the original one, but with a bit of a difference, you know? So I also really like that, that they intensified patchouli, labdanum, amber, 
accord and I would say that this is a perfume for those who love to apply the fragrance in the morning and it should stay till the end of the day because it is very long lasting it projects intensely it has this uh, glamorous sillage and uh, believe me I always compliment my mom when she wears it so you, you can count on the compliments and on the attention with this perfume in my opinion it is a very successful flanker and uh, I am satisfied with it and I definitely recommend it to try for those who love the original Coco Mademoiselle. So if you have any experience with the intense one, leave me a comment below and if not, what do you think about the original one? Because I'm sure you have smelled that one and if you have tested both, uh, how do you like them if you compare them uh, to each other? So yeah, I'm looking forward to your comments and that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that notification bell so you will be the first one who is updated about my new video I post five times a week so you can be sure that you will always get something interesting to watch on this channel. And thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more reviews on design of fragrances, check out the description box below. I will leave all the links there and that's all. Stay tuned, smell good and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!